devil is real i've seen him said at my bedside hello everyone this is episode two of who is budget last week you learned a little bit about myself and today we are going to be talking with mike Green. hey hi i'm mike i'm one of the sing i'm one of the lead vocalists in bad breed so hi Marilyn. hello mike and mike It's about to walk us a little bit through the history of Fabric. Yeah, it's, I mean, where we're at now is very different than where it started. So, uh, in 2014, I started a band with some friends, with three other guys, and it was basically, like, for the best word to describe it, it was like a rock band. It was aggressive, it was kind of faster, it's pretty hard. Uh, we recorded a record, and then at the end of the whole process, we added a female vocalist. And brought in a lady named, a woman named Chantouse. And that was great. It added a different element. And what it really did was make me realize, oh, this would be great to explore more than one vocal. Then we did an EP where the idea is we did three songs. Each one had a different female vocalist with me. And that's where Catherine, who's now one of the other lead vocalists, uh, became a part of the band. Fast forward to 2017. Um, you know, the project had been on hold. And then it restarted. And this time... It was just me and the guitar player from the original lineup, and it became what it is today by through collaboration with you, with Catherine, with Mark, who plays vibes on the record, and it brought all these different elements from people who weren't just, it wasn't suddenly like a four-headed rock band, it was a big collective of people from different walks of life. So that brings us to my next question. Why would the albums expect differently from the album, the first album, yeah. to Infrash Love? Okay, well, I mean, even just go from the titles, right? The title of the first record is The Violent World of Bad Breed. The second EP is Bad Breed Plays Execution Music. It was very, like I said, it's some dark subject matter, aggressive. It's kind of me screaming out to the world, ah, there's something wrong with me, and I'm not quite sure what it is. And by the time we get to Ferocious Love, I've been through a lot. So suddenly it's just like, I'm healing from that, and... Let me let me tell you a story about you know a year in my life and and it's and it's incredibly different. So I'm gonna ask you what we are all answering is this series. What is what was and what is bad here? Okay. Um, again, at the beginning, it was an ex it was a way for me to musically say. Yeah, like literally like scream, because I was really screaming in the early stuff, yelling out like, I'm in pain, you know, I'm probably, I need some help. And by the time I get to, we get to Ferocious Love, it's, I'm with this whole different group of people who, and now it means to me, I found people who can help me through that. And now it means really, it really truly does mean uh, part of a healing process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.